I recently began a mindfulness practice and I noticed I really beat up on myself. I say things to myself like, what's wrong with you? Why do you keep making the same mistakes? You're stupid. You're all alone. You have bad luck. You'll never get a break. How can I stop this mental abuse? Okay, really important because you said you began a mindfulness practice. So hmm. mindfulness is the opposite of what you're experiencing. Mindfulness is a, I, I like to emphasize the mindful because it feel, it's, a, it's an emotion, it's a feeling. People say mindfulness and they often think your mind, you know, you're, you're training your mind. I would like you to approach this practice more like an emotional practice that you're looking for the fullness because the, all those thoughts that you just said, all these mean thoughts that you're saying to yourself, what's wrong with you, you're all alone, they're empty thoughts. They're based on emptiness. They're based on disconnect. That's the voice of the ego. It has an agenda to, to, to try always to, to let you be safe and, and some modicum of happiness in a world of separation. It has to keep its agenda alive to keep you riveted there. On the other hand, since it cannot even perceive a world of oneness because it is the voice of separation, so that's its world, it's only about separation. If you're in a place where you're constantly thinking thoughts that are lack thoughts, then you can't get to the full, the emotion of fullness. So rather than try to stop these thoughts, I'd rather have you sit back into this experience of just being, just allow yourself to be for a moment, start to breathe, start to realize you came in with your first breath, your soul, you'll leave with your last breath. This is the continuum. This is the fullness of you. This is the truth of you. And start to identify with your breath that it's breathing you, that it's so nurturing that you don't even have to do anything. It just keeps your body alive. It's the vital force of you. It's the loving vital force of you. When you breathe, you constantly slow the mind as you slow your breath. So you let yourself start to feel that sense of fullness that arises when you need to do nothing like performance for the outside world. Let yourself just be a mess right now and appreciate yourself for coming to center at a time when you feel like a mess. And start to feel the fullness that arises in you as you're just with yourself compassionately as you're just connecting to this voice that you have, the voice of your own best interest is the embodiment of compassion. So when you're being compassionate with yourself, now you're starting to connect with the truth of you. When you start to say, you know, mind, think away. That's the voice of separation, just trying to keep its story alive, just trying to keep its world alive. But I can feel a sense of fullness by doing nothing? What does that mean? I don't have to perform in life? I don't have to be beholden to anyone else's good or bad opinions. I can actually just like sit here now. And even though it feels like I'm always in a rush because I have 10,000 other things to do, watch how your world starts to slow down for you and more things fit in. Remember I told the story in the last Miracle Meeting Place about the, when the bomb went off in that woman's world, how everything slowed down so much that she could do these intricate saw herself from above it all doing these intricate calculations about how she could be safe in such a crazy situation. The world of the soul has a different trajectory of time and space. It will give you all the time in the world to complete things peacefully and effortlessly. And it will do it in such perfect order that you'll feel like you're just going along with the flow down the river and that anything else is upstream and against yourself. So I would say these, these thoughts that you're having, you know, about what's wrong with you, I'll tell you what's wrong with you. You're connecting to the voice of the ego instead of the voice of the soul. That's not a problem. That's just a, you know, that has an inherent solution. Just connect to the truth of you. There's nothing wrong with the truth of you. The person who has something wrong with them is the one you believe you to be when you're separate from that. That's not the true you anyway. So truly, there's nothing wrong with you that a good relaxation can't fix. Just let yourself sit back 
and let those thoughts come and go and come and go and come and go again while you begin to teach the world who you believe yourself to be by identifying with the soul of you. Start to teach the world who you believe yourself to be. We're always teaching everyone we encounter who we believe ourselves to be. And if you're comfortable with yourself in your own skin, that means meditate sometimes, spend this quality time with your soul. Let yourself just think peaceful things and let these peaceful thoughts start to come to you. Sit when you're meditating with a blank piece of paper and a pencil or a pen and be ready for a voice that starts to tell you of things that are in your own best interest. Might remind you of something that was on a list, you know, this long that's at the bottom of the list that now wants you to put it to the top. Or it might just say something really kind to you about, remember that little child you saw out last week, that reminds me of you when you were little and you remember yourself being that way. It'll start feeding you with connection, feeding you with the thoughts that are in your best interest. The voice of the ego can't do that, doesn't know how. It's always going to keep you in striving mode and trying to be better. Feel your emotions. That's really hard to be in that body. Let yourself instead Leave that world to itself, take care of itself, ego take care of itself, let the ego world take care of itself, and instead just sit back and let your own being take over. Relax and be, be in your being.